All right, guys, what's going on? It's Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. I'm hanging with my friend, Kevin. Kevin, say what's up to everybody. What's up, man? All right, guys, so you guys remember Kevin from last year. He is my go-to battery guy. Now, Kevin, by background, is actually an engineer. So every time I was way into it, Unfortunately, <laughs> he works for corporate America and he does very good. He's a successful engineer. But uh, today we're talking about the Echo 58 volts battery powered system. Now, Kevin, you're my official tester. Yes. Right. So uh, you've been using my DeWalt stuff for a year, year and a half. Yep. Right. And you've had works batteries before. Yep. And now you're using the Echo line, right? Absolutely. So we're going to talk a little bit today about uh, the Echo battery powered stuff, uh, just pros and cons. And then what I'm going to do is probably give my final consensus uh, on battery powered equipment because you've been using a lot of it. Yeah. I've been using a lot of it. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be like a good cop, bad cop. What do you think? Could be. You're, you're a homeowner. I am. And tell me about the gas. You haven't touched, you haven't seen, had any gas in here really. Uh, since you've had this home, right? So I started out in a in a condo, so I didn't have to do any lawn maintenance, right? Uh, with no kids, but now moved out here, have a couple kids, yep, and haven't had to ha worry about an ounce of gas or anything like that. Haven't had to do the maintenance in the winter time, right? Just plug in and and uh, charge the batteries and go, sure. And uh, it's been awesome. They've worked phenomenal right uh these 58 volt uh batteries by uh, echo have mm -hmm. been uh pretty legit okay like i can on one battery i can cut like 95 percent and it's the sweet thing is it has a bay for two wow so and it's a really quick switch on the battery so that's this is the the lawnmower right so yep. by the way side note thank you to echo for sending this whole uh program out now i i just don't have the time to test everything you know so i you and i uh, we might have met up maybe eight weeks ago yeah at this point roughly, yep. something like that early spring uh yep. they sent it out and i said dude you got to test this all for me again I, I have a rule that i don't uh just let things sit around you know what i mean uh i, I just don't think it's fair number two i'm not going to just go off and hawk it on ebay right so i uh i think that's wrong so i'm gonna <laughs> give it to friends i got like a half dozen folks out there that test stuff for me that I can't test but um, why don't you give us a walk around on this and then we're gonna come back and talk about battery right because yeah, you got some uh, good points you were making I, I right. had some uh, some input as a contractor so here's the lawnmower right so if yep. people haven't seen this before what are we looking at you're you're familiar with it now has a 21 inch deck. Uh, one thing that's different is that this is not a steel. Uh, oh yeah. A steel deck. Um, but it holds up, it looks like it is. It's uh, it's done really nice. Yeah. Uh, obviously it folds up complex, compact so it fits anywhere in your garage. Sure. And it's actually pretty quick to just switch out. Yeah. But uh, I like that. first from the top, th these are where your battery bays are. Okay. And so uh, again, there's two bays um, and uh, they can take the 50 volt batteries um, this is cool. So this is a little um, uh, key that they have. Is this like your uh, it's, your Bugatti when it goes in the red button? You know, right. the super the super well, mode. Well, for safe, you know, so for safety and whatnot. So the, the oh. lawnmower don't work without a key. Okay. So to you know to put this, lock this in a box. Don't have to worry about the kids getting in gotcha. and uh, messing around with it. Sure. But this also is directional to pick which battery you're going to actually use. Okay. So when it's in this way, it's going to run off this battery. When that one runs out, you just flip it, point it that way, and then it's going to grab that battery. So, so it's only pulling off of one battery at a time. You're saying? Yep, absolutely. Oh, which is best, best we know, right? Right, and that's <laughs> a lot better than the uh, the works one, which pulls off of both batteries simultaneously, and then um, you're you're left pretty much stranded if you don't get done and right. Because you got to both at the same time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, so we got the. Uh, I know. I know uh, uh, the Dirt Monkey. I don't know. You don't watch a lot of YouTube videos, but you know yeah. Stanley Dirt Monkey. He's a, a really popular YouTuber. Uh, he has a Dewalt battery uh, powered lawnmower. That's it's all metal. Okay. But it got like a one star. Wasn't right. exactly the hottest lawnmower of the year. Yeah. So, um, but the, his reason was performance and battery runtime. Yep. It was getting like maybe 10 minutes in wet grass, not the best, uh, you know, runtime. So that's where you always have those issues with battery. Right, right. And, and yeah. you have a better perspective on that than almost anybody because you've been doing this for two and a half years now yeah. with all battery powered stuff. Yep. So you went through the works, the wall, now Echo. Yep. What's battery life with this guy, Ben? Uh, this, uh, again, for, for one battery, full charge through thick, heavy grass. Yeah. Uh, probably a little bit over uh, 50 minutes. Which is that enough for your property? 
for like 95% of it. Kevin's in suburbia, folks. <laughs> He's got his little 3-2 with 2.2 kids. Yeah. Cute, cute, you know, beautiful wife. I, I know his wife. They're great, great people and a good family uh, couple. So, but, uh, okay, so we're rocking and rolling. So, how, what do you think about the, the, the plastic deck? I mean. Well, well, here, let me, uh, let me throw it down real quick. Yep, yep. So, to get it up. I like doing reviews with my engineer folks because I always joke with my uh, with the people that watch the video, Kevin. That I'm not an engineer, <laughs> but you are. So, I am. So you've got you've got your like your, so your little things down. that you can weigh in on, right? Right. So to get this up, which is really because it locks in place, which is pretty sweet. So it, it it's really easy. Okay. So you pull pins out. Yep. Lock it in your setting. Lock it in your setting. Okay. You're in business. And you're in business. So we have a, a 58 volt with a brushless motor, I noticed. Yep. I did not know it came with a brushless motor. That's uh, that's some fancy tech. That's good. So yep. 21 inch. So you can you can add a bag to the back. Okay. Uh, if you need to. I don't. Unless it gets too uh, too tall. Sure, you just mulch it for the most part. Yeah, for the most part. Now this is one difference in between the, the works lawnmower that I have okay. versus this one. The works actually has a side chute okay. for a discharge. Oh. So even if I'm cutting something really thick, I don't have to worry too much sure. about bagging because it'll it'll eject it. But with this one, yeah. I waited a little too long earlier in the spring when yeah. it was really wet. Yeah. I had to bag it because it was is it, it would it just down? dump it oh uh, okay okay so now did you raise up the deck a little bit i would imagine yeah. in, in the spring yeah okay so you were cutting a little bit taller obviously yeah. the lawn's a little burnt out it's uh late july right now yeah late july so we haven't had very much rain the last two three weeks like no. the rest of america but um <laughs> <laughs> so you can adjust the height i, I see yep. this here just pulls out and you know goes into place yep on all four wheels so they can be at different heights if you had uneven grass okay okay very cool, man. So it's pretty simple. How is, uh, is it? How do we set it up? Let's, uh... Well, now back to the deck real quick. Okay. So the the deck being plastic, if mm -hmm. something, if you feel this, this thing is light as light as air, man. Oh gosh, that's not even probably what 20, 25 pounds, maybe. Not even. Yeah, not even. So um, the thing that you have to, <laughs> the thing that I found that you have to be concerned with is when you're mowing to have it at the right height because if you put a little too much force oh i see going down you're gonna pop that thing up you're and popping you're wheelies mow, you're popping wheelies like, get out like uh because there's no weight to it right right right. it's, just, it's easy no so good you gotta you gotta make sure that you're well that, for strong and handsome studs like us right you yeah know, you know obviously working out five days a week like we both do right well i had my <laughs> oldest boy you know learning how to how to do this stuff oh yeah and uh he had it at the at the wrong height and okay. he was just pushing it down and i'm oh. like buddy you're not cutting anything <laughs> and he's like what <laughs> dude that's awesome that's and it's awesome. just because you don't realize how light it is yeah no i actually that is i mean to lift it up is one thing but to, to tip it forward jeez oh it's but it's, you know what for a homeowner that's not bad i mean no it, you get well because it's not self-propelled right right so you got to push this thing oh true. so that's a good point having it having it be light is uh is awesome because it's it's not that much work to push it no dude that's that is a good observation i mean obviously you've been using it i i don't so you're you're my authority here i'm gonna weigh in later on the battery you know right and, and, and you know what we can even do that right now because that, that's the thing i wanted to talk to you about was you've been using a lot of battery stuff yeah. you've been using all my dewalt but i have the dewalt uh 40 volt uh battery line which is like kind of marketed as like pro grade but let's be honest like i feel like it's high-end consumer you yeah. know what I mean? Like, like it, it lasts, it's nice, but a lot of you guys were asking me um, on last year's video how I do like the DeWalt stuff and the Milwaukee stuff. And by the way, uh, I've had offers from Husqvarna, Steel, uh, I'm sure if I message Ego, they would send us uh, all that stuff too. But every company wants to keep sending us all the battery stuff. And I said like, uh, with vehemently, no, I'm not interested because, you know, I, the, the battery stuff I do like is the hedge trimmers. Uh, I don't think I give you a chainsaw yet. No, but, uh, but the blowers. The blowers. So the, the battery powered uh, hedge trimmers, chainsaws, and those handheld blowers uh, have been great. Uh, yeah, those yeah. have been phenomenal. That, I, I, I feel like those are like the main three products I would use for, for battery powered equipment. Um, like even if it was uh, just Milwaukee hedge trimmers, right? Uh, you could use those in the spring just on like some light uh, shrubs to tag some stuff up. Right, right, right. And that, you have the DeWalt one, right? Yeah. I think I still left that with you. Yep. Okay, so, so that's why I feel like that's my opinion on battery. That's kind of where it ends though. Yep. Now for a homeowner, yeah. you don't have any gas in the whole house. No, no gas. So so for a homeowner, that makes complete sense, especially if you have kids. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's one less thing to maintain. Right. Definitely saves time. Get the There's mixture really right. No, I mean, it cuts great. I mean, it, it, I don't have any issues with uh, right. with these Echo batteries, which are yeah. really... Uh, 
they're lightweight and they last a long time. Well, they they, so. they did some uh, training with me on a webinar, and you know, again, I'm not like Mr. Battery Guy, you know, with with learning all the technology as an engineer or electrical engineer. But their batteries are in a league of their own, so uh, a, a, probably why you enjoy them a lot more than necessarily the DeWalt's right. or the Works ones for sure. Yeah. So all right, so t let's talk a little bit more about this, and then we're gonna okay. show everybody the uh, the blower, the trimmer, the hedge trimmer uh because man this is some fun stuff i mean it is i mean honestly you look you probably look like the coolest dad on the block i'm just gonna say <laughs> i'm just gonna say i, I need yeah. Yeah, so kevin we, we gotta get him some uh, some cujo shoes though yes i do i, I need I, I did see your youtube <laughs> you? on uh personal safety yes it, all the ppe the glasses the ppe mm -hmm. the, the shoes we're making right. gains so I, I did see that. <laughs> well, you, you look a little bit more tan since we did last year's video. Yes, a little bit. It's you know it's middle of summer, so dude, that's awesome. Fresh off vacation. That's, I know, right? That, that'll that'll be what happens, dude. That's awesome. All right, so how do we fire this guy up? What do we? One button. Oh, like the Lamborghini, you got the primer switch. That's sweet. And then, so what's the two clip uh, things do? Oh, so you have to have those both in for your safety? No, nope, one. Just one. Yep, so you can go either hand. Okay. So when you're doing your turns. Yeah. Oh, look you at don't, you. You don't have to hold two. All your fancy options. It's not mine, it's Echoes. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> All right, so that's not too loud. That's uh, You could do this, uh, you know, shoot, eight o'clock on a Saturday morning. Nobody would even hear you. Yeah. Child just kinda, hazard. Oh, we got a rock. Child Wait. hazard. <laughs> Kids love rocks. Kids are playing, right? Yeah. So, so that's pretty cool. I mean, uh, I got some lines. Just some lines here. Look at that, man. Looking fresh. Looking good. Let's go through here, show these, and then uh, we're going to be wrapping this one up in a little bit. So again, I, I think um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the fact that I think the battery stuff is going to be reserved for the homeowner. Um, guys like Kevin literally makes sense. If I if I had my own home like this in the exact same situation, I would definitely go battery. Um, I just don't think I really would need that much gas, stuff like that. All right, so let's keep going. All right. Got the trimmer. You got the trimmer. How's this guy? How, how, how heavy is it? What are, what are we weighing here? Uh, it's it's a fairly good weight on this one. Okay. A little bit different than the mower. I think, um, I think this is a combi. This is my combi system. I think we can put different heads on here eventually. I believe so. That is correct. I don't know if I have extra heads, but I think that's just uh, the trimmer one. Well, you got your uh, two speeds. Okay. Slow and fast. A turtle. And your rabbit. turtle. Rabbit. Classic. Um, you know, and this in uh, in the trimmer because it's already so heavy. Yep. Uh, I use the uh, two amp hour battery instead of the four. Okay. Because again, my property is not huge; it's not massive, so right. I don't I don't tear through the uh, the two amp hour battery. Plenty, uh, plenty of power. Pr plenty of power. Okay. Uh, no issue, but it's considerably lighter too. Let so. me let me see the head. So this one has yep. the uh, speed feed head. So check that out. You get a battery powered one with a speed feed. I just did a video about this uh, not too long ago. Uh, Echo has probably one of the best heads on it. Speed feed 400, I would imagine. They have a 450, I think, a little bit bigger head, but that's that's the one I use on everything I have. Uh, now, how's how's the speed feed head compared to a uh, the one that you had to wind up? Oh yeah, this one's uh, head and head and shoulders above the other one. Man. Night and day difference. E night and day. Yeah, because remember, remember I came over to use the Dewalt. You're like, I don't. I, you're like, I haven't even replaced that thing. I have no idea. Yeah, like to 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 wind it, I was winding it every few. Yeah. Uh, couple days, Dude. couple, couple cuts. Couple cuts. Yeah, that, that thing was a piece. But, uh, but this one I haven't had to replace at all. You know, in the for sure. Uh, you know, the eight weeks that I've had it, that I've used it, it's been pretty, uh, pretty legit. So too legit to quit, man. Let's uh, let's go trim something really quick. Yeah. What do we got? Let's go over by the rock. I, I'm throwing up on Kevin. He just got back from uh, up north Michigan doing the vacation thing. So we're uh, we're putting him to work today, right? 
I said, Kevin, little... hold off. Don't cut your lawn. You were going to cut it before you left. I was. I, I said, wait till you get back. So. And it still didn't grow. <laughs> That's true. Your game's That's getting it, better. Man. Your game's getting better every year. I see you. I tell you, <laughs> it's improving. All right, let's go use the blower for uh, just for time's sake, so we don't take everybody's time. But the uh, you you got a lot better. <laughs> the first time I used it, I had to like give you some coaching. I think I think all of you guys are uh, more familiar on my channel with how to how to cut, trim, and blow. Uh, but I, I had to give Kevin some off the uh, <laughs> off camera coaching last year. I'm like, let's work on it a little bit. But uh, no. You're the professional. <clears throat> yeah, pseudo professional. All right, so what do we got here? <clears throat> so you got the blower. Look at that, 550 CFMs. Nice. This thing is a beast. I love handheld blowers. I'm telling you, if you have a DeWalt battery system uh, or the Echo or, or who I pick your company, handheld blowers like those are awesome. When uh, I'm at my mom's doing woodworking, yeah. and I can just blow off the shed, blow right, off right. the little garage area, you can't go wrong with that. Oh yeah. How's this guy? No, this thing's a beast. Um, and uh, in this one, I do choose to use the four amp hour battery. Okay. So um, a little, lot more uh, run time with this. Sure. Especially running it at turbo. Yeah. So. Um, well, you got a lot of sidewalk. You're on a corner lot. Oh yeah, let's. So you got to go. This way. Yeah, so you got to go all the way around the house. You got the patio. Get your, get your little cannon. You definitely got the coolest battery powered system probably in uh, in your sub. This is true. You look like the cool dad, you know. This is this has turbo, so Jeez, when you okay. hear this, that's turbo. This is regular. Wow. How far down can you shoot? Jeez, Pete, so it has the automatic setting too, so you don't have to have your finger on the trigger. You got to do cruise control. Yep. There you go. Basically. No kid, that's loud. Like yeah. that's powerful. Yeah. This, that, like I said, you, it was just it can dislodge. Dude, they're shooting pine cones 20 feet down. Yeah, I got a lot of pine trees. Oh my gosh. With that's a actually ton of, of uh, cones, man. I'm actually pretty impressed. I like the uh, little metal ring on the end. Yep. Um, just to keep it from like wearing out, you know. Yeah, absolutely. The Dewalt one I have is 20 volt. You know. The, yeah, that's that's. I mean, honestly, that's some pretty. Uh, for battery stuff, okay, that's, that's all that's in there. Okay, so there's nothing even in here. It's just the battery, <laughs> a little fan, little turbine fan, you know, and mm -hmm. that's it. Impeller. We're good to go. All right, so what do we got here? So this is to the charging station. I don't think. Oh, so. you got a whole. I didn't even see all this. Yeah, that's uh, all the charging station. Let me grab it. Look at you from the lawnmower. You got your works, your Echo, all the Dewalt, all the works. All right, so to charge it, you drop it in the chute, click right. it in place. Yeah. Sweet. So basically, uh, as basic as it gets, right? Mm -hmm. There you go. Also a little fan in there? Yeah, it, got, it has a fan. Okay. So you're kind of, when it's quiet, you know it's done. Right, right, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> Dude, but the light will turn green. I like it. But that's it. No good. Yeah. All right, so let's let's wrap this one up so, uh, so we don't keep people here all day. So your verdict, good cop, bad cop. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Well, because we were talking about that before. I said, uh, shoot me straight. I said, uh, what, what do you think about the battery? So, what's your opinion on battery? As but, a homeowner, you're a civilian. Yeah. Right. As these a are all homeowner. These, these are all con contractors. Absolutely. These these guys are. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're kind of like this too. You're kind of a skeptic, you know. Right. But, right. But we're all we're all skeptics as a contractor. We don't want to be sold, right? Yeah. So so homeowner. Right. What do you think? No, from from a homeowner for you know something with again low maintenance, uh, but gets the results, gets the job done. Yeah. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of benefits. I don't really see a need sure. on a lot this size to right. go with uh, with gas powered. That, totally. I mean, really I deal mean, with all that extra hassle for for what? Right. Almost no performance increase. Right. That's true. That's so, true. So I mean, your cut time still still the same. Does just as good a job doing the cut. Don't have to worry about the batteries. Right. You know. Pretty straightforward. Yep. And I mean, and that's the thing. Like, you're not going to be using all this stuff every time for for hours on end. Right. Right. Like a like a battery powered hedge trimmer. Yep. You're going to use it for 20 minutes in the spring, 
20 minutes in the late summer and yep. then 20 minutes in the fall, you know, doing your pruning. Yep. And you don't need a $500 hedge trimmer like I have part, right, of, right. part of my setup. Cause we're, yep. cause we're doing 20, 30 lawns like that per week. Yep. Right. So, uh, so that's, that's, I guess we're, we're kind of on the same page. I mean, uh, I, I like the battery stuff. It's just, I don't know. I hate to, you know, be the bearer of bad news for all these companies that have like multi-million dollars invested right, right. by, you know, fives and tens of millions of dollars <laughs> invested. But, uh, I, I think, you know, here was my, uh, an attitude and uh, my analogy was you look at Tesla, right? They, they, they're battery powered cars, yep. but they pushed the envelope so much with what they came to the market with. Right, right. Now it's at a premium price point. Totally. I mean, hundred thousand dollar Tesla, right? But that, but the evolution and, and what it pushed the envelope and what the performance of it is, right, right. People are willing to pay for it. I, I just feel like battery is like marginally equal, maybe marginally better, marginally worse. It's mm -hmm. not. There's in, there's nothing really like convincing me on battery. Now, for for a, for a contractor, right, right. Now, for a homeowner, I think it's kind of like like you said, no brainer. Absolutely. I, I think for a contractor though, we still got some work to do because the battery powered stuff, it's not weatherproof no, uh, all the time necessarily. Um, we gotta have endless batteries and those are expensive and, and they degrade, right? So these are kind of like my points where- I, I don't cut the grass in the rain, dude. No, you don't <laughs> cut the grass, yeah. <laughs> Neither do we, right? Neither do we. But, uh, but you know what I'm saying? So like, right. I, I like the battery stuff for, for homeowners and for some of my the selected products, but um, that, that's where I guess my question is for you guys. What, what do you guys think? If you're a homeowner, uh, a lot of you guys watch the channel. Leave me a comment down below. What do you guys think battery? Is it in or is it out? Uh, is, what, what's your final thoughts on it? Uh, after all these companies have been releasing battery products like the last two or three years, um, for you, you're a believer. You yeah, know? absolutely. So yeah, I've used it. I've gotten compliments on it. You know, right. people stop me as I mow my yard on Saturday morning. Sure. And they're like, how do you even, Yeah. like I have my headphones in and they're yeah. just like, that's the quietest thing I've ever heard. Totally, it's like, totally. It's convenient, man. It makes sense. And it does. I, I think that's great for homeowners. Until guys like me come through with our, our rigs and, you know, <laughs> making all kinds of noise with our gas right. power blowers, right? So, yeah. all right, cool. Well, hey, this is my uh, my friend Kevin. He's, uh, like I said, he's a civilian testing all this <laughs> stuff out. But uh, I appreciate him uh, doing work for us to help you guys, especially with uh, with Echo. Uh, by the way, thank you to Echo for sending this whole unit and uh, the whole system out to us. For, for us to demo, like I said, I, I have a rule. If I, if I can't use it, I'm going to gift it to somebody so they can use it and keep it moving. Yeah, absolutely. So I uh, appreciate Kevin big time. Yeah. But a blessing yeah for sure all right guys cool well if uh, if there's anything else we can do for you guys with questions on any of the battery powder, uh, powered uh, equipment out there uh, not just echo leave me a comment down below let me know but guys that's it if you enjoyed this one shoot a big thumbs up and uh, appreciate the time brother cool man all right brother. thanks man yep we'll see you guys bye-bye sweet